Thanks so much for joining us here on Good Morning Vale. This is our live morning show and we bring it to you from 7 to 8 o'clock every single morning of the week. We also have a bunch of other shows here on TV8. Colorful Cooking is one of them. It's a cooking show that I host. Good Day Vale comes on right after Good Morning Vale. And we like the local sports here in the Valley. So joining me now is the host of Scoreboard, another one of our shows. It's Brett <laughs> Ferraro. Oh, thank you, Tracy. How are you doing? I am doing absolutely spectacular this morning. Tracy, how are you doing? I'm good. And so, so Brett is an employee here. He's one of us. He's on the cameras a lot every morning with me on Fridays yeah. and then on scoreboard. So this is your show. First of all, congratulations. You have your own show. I know. It's actually spectacular. I am so blessed to have such great opportunities here in the Valley mm -hmm. to speak with you all and uh, enjoy some great local sports. So. Okay, local sports. Now, uh, both of my daughters are basketball players, yeah. so I'm in the local gyms and I know all about the local sports yeah. and, and you're a local guy you grew up here in the valley yeah absolutely I grew up here spent all of my middle high school career here mm -hmm. and uh, participated in such great sports that we have around the valley so. okay so funny thing because when you talk to the coaches they're like wait a second these kids are snowboarding and skiing and nordic skiing and hiking and rafting yeah. basketball baseball all these regular sports that you see in other other counties mm -hmm. are maybe not number one for us is that the feel that you get and you had when you were here yeah absolutely so being part of this valley we have such amazing resources to be able to go out and enjoy the outdoors and as such some of these uh, more team oriented sports uh, sort of go by the wayside. Now there are some exceptions. Soccer is super big yes. here in the Valley. Uh, we have a great youth program that mm -hmm. helps bring them up. Uh, hockey as well. We have yeah. a, some great youth programs that help bring uh, these athletes into high school really raring and uh, looking for some championships. But uh, the rest of them like basketball, football, uh, they just sort of get uh, delayed or, or put put to the wayside when when ski season comes around right not number one because when you get the girls basketball teams from like Denver and Durango he was like sorry Trey sorry <laughs> about that Durango game against Battle Mountain but yeah. that's what we're used to now scoreboard yeah you're tonight you're gonna be checking yeah. out hockey Battle yeah. Mountain High School yeah. hockey yeah so uh, Battle Mountain plays tonight and tomorrow night mm -hmm. uh, tonight against Summit which is going to be a really good game okay, uh, yeah. they start at 515 so if anyone wants to please go out and support the Battle Mountain High School hockey team. It's uh, it's going to be a good game tonight. And these guys, this is one of the teams that wins. They yeah. have like championship pictures all over Battle Mountain. Yeah, they just won in 2021. So they are championship level. So yeah. they're, they're really good. And I would highly recommend watching. Okay, them. I'll get my Battle Mountain basketball shirt on and wear it to the <laughs> hockey game. Is that at Dobson? It is at Dobson. Okay. Uh, both Friday and Saturday's games are at Dobson Ice Arena. Okay, so. all right. So that's really what's happening with sports. But scoreboard is mm -hmm. the show. Yeah. So on that show, what can we expect? Uh, tonight we're uh, covering some great games between uh, Eagle Valley and Vail Christian okay. and we're looking at the game between uh, Vail Mountain School and Battle Mountain uh, School basketball. Okay. Uh, we're also checking out uh, some hockey before getting a little teaser about tonight's game. Mm -hmm. So it'll be really interesting to watch. Uh, would highly recommend everyone watching it tonight at 6 or at 10 if you miss it at 6. Okay, all right. That's awesome because then at 10, we, you know, everything has already happened too. Yeah. Now, you, this is pretty live because yesterday was the basketball game with Vail Christian and yeah. Battle Mountain, the boys basketball game. Yeah. Battle Mountain, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, that's my theme. Um, so you're going to be talking about that you're gonna be showing clips from that as well yeah absolutely okay, we got some really great cool. interviews with some uh, great uh, athletes there yeah. uh, as well so we're going to be showing those interviews off and then of course showing a little bit of highlights from the game okay so you talk to the student athletes mm -hmm. how's that going it's pretty <laughs> great we actually have some great athletes here in the valley mm -hmm. who are very interested and excited to be talking and getting on TV and uh, yeah. they they have great answers and everyone here is so nice you know I haven't met a, a mean person yet so yeah okay good because you've been on all the winning sides? <laughs> you've been I do, on all the winning sides? I, I do the get interviews sometimes with losing teams, but uh, uh, yeah, a lot of winning teams too. Yeah, so. okay, great. And do you have, so you grew up here, mm -hmm. You what sports did you play? Uh, I played a lot of sports. Soccer was a big oh, one okay. for me. Good. And then uh, in the winter, I did some telemark skiing and some Nordic skiing as well, which mm -hmm. are two great, uh, you know, sports that we have in the Valley. Uh, really um, make... 
No. <laughs> yeah, they, we do. Put, we've been talking about Nordic skiing all morning. That so. is true. And they're big in the high schools here. Oh yeah, yeah. and it, it helps. Battle Mountain has such a great cross country yeah. team mm -hmm. in the fall, and uh, Nordic becomes their sport of uh, choice in the winter. So yeah. we have a really great Nordic team as well. So I know Battle Mountain. They're great at hockey. They're great at soccer, and they're great at Nordic. What yeah. about um, Eagle Valley? What are what are their highlights? Eagle Valley. Eagle Valley is pretty darn good at basketball for a valley. Right. Uh, I mean, it's still a little hard to compete with the front range teams, uh, but they're also pretty great uh, this year at soccer, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. They're okay. usually historically not been uh, the best, but they've really made Battle Mountain uh, work this year to okay. get their top spot. Well, they're going to make us work at basketball, too. So those are the two big public schools, and then we have Vail Christian and Vail Mountain School. Yes. What are they good at? Uh, Vail Mountain School was really good at soccer this year. They won the state championship in the fall this Ooh. year, so that was really exciting. And then, yeah. of course, uh, Nordic and Alpine skiing for both of those guys. Uh, but it, we just have great sports here. Okay, so Nordic skiing is going to be the one we're going to have to watch for the competition within the valley. Mm -hmm. The rest of them, we just say, go team. Yeah, exactly. Okay, <laughs> Brett, thank you for joining us today so we can show, see the show at 6 o'clock and at 10 o'clock. Absolutely, Tracy. Yeah. Thank you for having me on. Okay, always a pleasure. And we are so happy to have Brett on board here at TV8. And we're so happy that you joined us on Good Morning Vale. Get out there, protect your eyes, enjoy the low light and the fresh snow. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Things to see and do. Summer.